today we're in uh, beautiful Grand Junction, Colorado, and we've got uh, Charlie Precourt here, the first ever CJ One Plus Fusion Pilot. How you doing, Charlie? <laughs> Great. I've been in this CJ One Plus now for about three years. Background in flying includes a career with the Air Force and with NASA. Privileged enough to fly space shuttles and a member of the Citation Jet Pilots Group, and so I'm having a lot of fun with that. What about Fusion attracted you to it? The touchscreen immediately was, in, was very intriguing to me. And when I got to thinking about the, the three key things, pilot workload is always number one. It leads to a more enjoyable experience, more efficient flying, a safer flight. Situational awareness is, is right behind all of that. Uh, and having the touchscreens in the upfront brings a lot of situational awareness, way more actually now that I'm flying it than I had anticipated. And the third thing is um, just basic heads up, you know, like I started with talking about the ProLine 21 and others, lots of head down time, lots of keyboard time. Everything that you can do on the keyboard can be done on the screens with touch now. 99% of the things you don't really need the keyboard for anymore. So when you add all that up, you come to the conclusion that the value here was really worth it. Uh, and there's so much flexibility uh, with the different display settings. There are eight memory settings for each phase of flight, you know, taxi, departure, level off and cruise, descent, and so forth. And so you can set all those up for the way you need to operate and tailor it to your particular kind of flying. You know, at the end of the day, it was a much simpler transition than my initial into the ProLine 21. There's a lot of logic that's based on ProLine 21. So for anybody that's been using the ProLine, they'll have a pretty easy transition. I'll never forget my first checkout in flight safety in the simulator in the, in the CJ3 with ProLine 21. It was, you know, basically a week of effort to learn the system. A couple of days on this and I was very, very comfortable. If you've got a platform that is a, essentially 100% realistic, you don't need motion simulator to learn that, right? Um, so I think you've, you've got a good suite of things for folks to use to be comfortable. Fusion's a fantastic product. Collins is a fantastic company. Uh, their ProLine products throughout the years have been leading the industry. The system is scalable, uh, it's programmable. The project was really successful. We flew squawk free several weeks ahead of time to re-deliver the aircraft to the customer. Since then he's had multiple flight hours and just loves it, absolutely loves it. I'm up to about 15, 20 legs now. I'd have to look to know exactly, but it's it's a sizable number in the last couple of months. So that's impressive. Getting pretty comfortable with it. And I found that you can get real comfortable real quick. I you know, I used the desktop demonstrator that you guys had, and then I flew one flight with Rich Pickett. Especially for those that are coming out of a ProLine 21, there's a lot of similarity in the logic, so it comes quick. If I uh, touch the aircraft and then touch reroute. Let's just say that there were a number of storms right here and I wanted to go around it to the north. I've now hit reroute and you can notice that it's got a dash blue line to the cursor. It doesn't know exactly where I want to reroute to. So I'm going to say my first point is here because I'm imagining that I've got a bunch of storms here. And my second point to go around it is here. And my third is here. And then I hit execute. It now has taken me on a route that I did by touching the screen around that weather. Just touch, touch, That's touch, beautiful. and I'm done. That's beautiful. And then I just tell center, hey, I'm going to be deviating right, and uh, leave it on uh, on FMS nav, and around we go. I can change from a map inset, which would show my flight plan, to a CDI, which is where I go for an approach. Right. So now I'm looking at the synthetic vision and my god's eye view, looking down on the approach course laterally, all in one display. And so again, just touch what you want to change, and you get there. So let's say we were taken out of Grand Junction and um, we had a problem. We want to go into uh, rifle. rifle with the nearest airport selected. I can press on that. And now I can immediately load an approach into rifle on an emergency and I can do the RNAV Yankee or the RNAV X-ray, whatever I want and, and hit execute. And now I've got that approach and the missed approach shown on the, the display with again, two touches of the, the screen. And how easy is it to bring up the chart? So over here now, RNAV 
X-ray, there it is. There we go. Again, two, three touches of the screen and I'm there. That's great. A little bit easier than docking onto the International Space I, Station. I, I think it's quite a bit easier yeah. than docking the space <laughs> shuttle, yeah. What a way to get around.